Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a very familiar and very special garage. Today we are catching up with Manny Koshbin to check out one of his new acquisitions. Now I've been here to visit the collection a few times. It is still jaw-dropping every single visit. We're going to be heading over though very shortly to Manny's new headquarters, his new location, new facility, new setup, but he has literally just taken delivery of that beast, the new G63 4x4 squared. And I am exceptionally jealous of that car because they've not actually decided yet if they're going to be selling them over in the UK. So we're gonna be heading over with this to find out more about it. Just look at this. I wanna talk as well about the SLR, one of the SLRs tucked in back there. Just extraordinary P1 GT Black Series as well. So let's go find Manny, let's have a full catch up. Let's check out this monster and head over to Manny's new headquarters. Hey, Shmi. Hey, Manny. How, How are you, you buddy? Good to see you. Welcome to California. Thank you. It's good to be back, and it's good to be back visiting you here. One of the last Thank times. You. You're going to be moving soon. I know. A couple of more months, I'll be moving to a headquarter, which, you know, if you've got time, I'll give you a tour. For sure. Would love After. to have Man, I'm trying to think, what haven't you seen? I mean, you've been to everybody's... Well, that's for sure you haven't seen, because it's the only one in the world. This is the Heritage Edition. MSO did for me. Obviously, it's got... You know, you may have seen it when I posted online, but it's incredible exhaust system, MSO exhaust system. It's got the flow, you know, uh, option. You can open it up, it's much louder. But what's really cool about it is the interior. The interior yeah. is just really cool two-tone, and they wanted to kind of celebrate the same spec of the 1954 300SL that was entered the first 300 SL intern to US, and it was uh, gone through this dealership in New York. Hoffman Motor Car Co. Because you, I mean, yeah. you're an SLR fiend. Yeah, <laughs> well, I have know, a few. <laughs> yeah. We all know how much you like them. This car's been back to factory. It's been yes. back to MSO. Oh yeah, yeah, it do... was a stripped down. That it has custom wheels, obviously upgraded suspension, rack and pinion steering. It's got a little bit modified. Yeah, because um, this aero. is, I mean, this is a whole new, front hood, front bonnet yes. to make this. Yes, All also of these the chrome rear. details. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the lip spoiler at the yeah, back. Yeah, it gives you a little bit more downforce, but you know what's cool about it is obviously the, the suspension and the steering, because the steering wheel on SLRs is not the best. Yeah. So when you upgrade it, it drives so much better now. It's a little bit lower too with the new suspension, and it has a Ghost 71 in here, but I don't know if you can see it. But oh, that was yeah, a not. Yeah. It's super faint. Yeah, yeah. Minutes. Super like so. You know, some it's attention to details on it. That's really hard to see, but yeah. when you see it, that's so cool. Yeah. Um. So at the moment, I'm trying to think. We have what six, seven of your SLRs here. I have seven. I have one at the factory. They're, it's going through the conversion of the 722 GT, which they call yes, the, H the HDK. H yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. That's gonna be cool. It's gonna be all white with uh, you know, the number three in in red on the door and the bonnet. Cool. Well, you haven't seen this, but I'm sure you've seen it before, but you haven't seen mine. <laughs> I haven't seen yours, the Project <laughs> One Edition GT Black Series. Yeah. Of course, my GT Black Series is outside. I, oh! <laughs> Little bit different, but All this, right, then this is boring. I don't no, want to bore you. No, it's not boring. The, the, I bet the, you haven't seen it. This, yeah? this is so cool, the detail. The Everybody thinks painted. this is a sticker, yeah, but this is like, yeah. I think it was a option well worth paying for. Um, I love it, and I'm, keeping my AMG one in the same spec. Yeah. So I think having them side by side, we yeah. ditch it, right? It's super cool yeah. when you think, because this is yeah. only available to AMG one customers to Correct. have this option. Correct. So if I can ever get my AMG one in here. Yeah. yeah, well, fingers crossed on that one. All right, have you seen one of these? I've not seen, this is the first customer G63 4x4 squared I've seen. Finally. Congratulations. So it's two cars you haven't seen, customer's car. <laughs> You've just taken delivery of this. Yes, I took it three days ago, maybe four days ago. But I'm kind of bummed, you'll know, because uh, you'll see when we go to my headquarter, um, because it doesn't fit in my new garage. I have to do a complete restructure of the frame of the building to get it in. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna work, and I ain't gonna pay $100,000 to raise it Just two to inches. Just car. <laughs> yeah, it's that top portion, um, they added, because I had a G500 before, but I feel like this is even a little bit more elevated, but yeah, yeah I'm sad. It's a big thing. It's cool it's, though, it, it's certainly not gonna fit in my garage at home. It's quite funny because in the yeah. UK, they've not actually decided yet if they're gonna put these on sale. What? It's just expressions of interest at the moment. 
I'm hoping, kidding me. Because I'd love one. Wow. Yeah, these are definitely, definitely much more fun than the G500. I had obviously AMG, more horsepower and smoother. I just, I don't know. I like, really like it. I'm so bummed it, was, it doesn't fit in my new garage. But let me see what else you haven't seen. The well, Targa, the Targa's new as well. Yes. Right? So these are 58 uh, Porsche design. They made this car uh, only 750 units to celebrate their 50th anniversary of the watch. And it does come with a watch, it's in the front trunk and mandatory, you gotta buy the watch. Yeah. Because all the other Porsches is an option. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. one, it's on the window sticker. You, you have to have the watch with it. Yeah, 12,000 dollar watch, but it's pretty cool. It matches with the same spec as the car. And not the fastest car, but what's cool is a four seater. It's, I got manual transmission, yeah, six manual speed. gearbox. But it's kind of cool. You know, the inside seat inserts kind of reminds me of my heritage SLR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I see that. So it has that kind of vintage classic look to it. And let's see what else. What's uh, tucked in around the corner. This is the, the, hy the hyper side of the garage. Yeah, this is the expensive side <laughs> and that's on the, you know, <clears throat> wholesale side. So you got, oh, this is you new. haven't seen this. No, this is new. Yeah, so <clears throat> I love my Rembrandt Bugatti so much. I asked for the little car company to basically mimic the same spec as my Rembrandt. So it's the same exact paint. They got the paint from Bugatti. And it even has the little elephant sculptures in, really? inside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it even comes with a speed key. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's got um, also Rembrandt signature, just mm -hmm. like the gas cap on the Rembrandt. They put that in here. Two-tone uh, color on the wheels and the body and the That's only thing is they put a speed limiter it does only 20 miles an hour because they couldn't import it into us yeah so i gotta find somebody to <laughs> get the modify it yeah. because 45 miles an hour is why i bought it i mean it's it's an amazing experience when hitting you in the face you know kind of yeah. like you've driven the elbow right absolutely yeah anything cool. without a windshield we should point out it's not a road car <laughs> no it's not a road car no no <laughs> yeah Bugatti baby too and we've seen your heritage for gt yes. your fantastic stealth exposed saturn carbon p1 yeah and as chiron and as huayra and the speed tail yes across the rembrandt yeah of course my exciting cars are coming i got the Aston Martin Valkyrie Spider. Yeah. I'm most excited about it. My Solus GT is going to come probably before anything else. I love and that you've got some of the models. Yes. And then, um, yeah, those are, I would say, oh, my Bugatti Bolide. Yep. But again, I can't take it to lunch, but <laughs> neither can I take this to lunch. But this is, I drove this uh, at Cota, Circuit of America. Unbelievable experience. Yeah. Yeah, a little claustrophobic, but, you know, amazing car. And I'm super excited. Of course, AMG one. I got the 262 built um, van, but which is later models. Maybe yeah. it's a good thing, right? Let's see. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, you'll be able to get them here. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to just bring it in as a race car, you yeah. know. But how, other, how cool is that? So, Bleed AMG One, yeah. Solus, Solus GT, GT. Uh, Valkyrie Spider, yeah. I SLR have, HDK, yes. And I have the uh, Koenigsegg, yeah. Uh, Koenigsegg. I think I'm going to go with Absolute. I think Christian's going to break the speed record. I think he's shooting that. for 310. I think he can do it. It's going to be really fast. So, and because it's a million, almost a million dollars more, I think it's going to be a lot less people choosing the absolute, so it'd be more rare. Uh, what else do I got coming in? I got five Porsches coming in, but they're not supercars. <laughs> <but> they're, <laughs> it's still cool. <laughs> a GT4 RS. Yeah. I'm getting it in two weeks. Nice. Maybe I love that sooner. car. I know. That's like the first time they're building on that platform, right? The GT3 RS, I went with the uh, Tribute, uh, the white and green, it was mm -hmm. shown mm -hmm. uh, at Pebble. And then I have a, the Classic. The Sport Classic. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then there is uh, Porsche America. They're only making 99 for Americans. Uh, it's to mimic the same aspect of the 356 Porsche in blue that uh, was, uh, was delivered, I don't know what year, but it only comes in one color. It's yeah. blue with tan interior. Nice. Um, Roadster. Yeah. So that's cool. And then there is one more I'm forgetting. Oh, the 4x4. Four four. Uh, the Dakar. Dakar. Cool. 911 Dakar will be Yeah, fine. I just ordered that. Probably so a more suitable car for getting in and out of your garage. Uh huh. This beast. Yeah, that, that for sure will fit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We should get this fired up. Yeah. Oh, oh. They, Aston just sent this. I was hoping it's in silver, but 
It's oh, black, that. but it's kind of cool. One of 85. That's so nice. I love this kind of thing. People don't necessarily see behind the scenes yeah. the experience of buying these kind of cars. You know, all the yeah. attention to detail and the involvement the manufacturer yeah. gives you at the company with yeah. everything. Well, hey, when you wait three, four years for a car, they got to kind of send you something to keep you excited <laughs> to get those deposits in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> to, keep you, to keep you waiting, to keep you content with the wait. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. Cool. So, 4x4 four four squared time. That's right. You haven't driven one of these before, right? No, that's... Please tell me you don't. No, you I, haven't. Haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Perfect. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> something go. Shmi hasn't driven. <laughs> First Come time on. I'm going in it with you. <laughs> All right. You ready to go for a ride over to my headquarters? Let's do it. All right. G63 four by four squared style. This thing's such a monster. Look at this. I know, it, it needs to come with a power ladder. <laughs> oh! A step oh! up to climb in. <laughs> or a what? bungee cord. Let's, um, let's hear it, let's start it up. That's, that's a pretty familiar noise. Familiar. Yeah, so I just put the... As as yeah, exhaust on. Cool. Not bad. Nice. Let's pull it out. Out comes the G63 4x4 squared. My GT Black Series stuck just over that away. Look at this thing. I actually really like it in the white with the bull bars up front. Just mean. Yeah, that's the only problem with this car. You're not joking. You really do need to come. No, but you know, I think Brabus makes the those uh, leg extensions, right? Yes, the door They're steps, door steps, out yeah. steps. That's cool. I think I've even seen them, they make them in carbon fiber. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta order them. A set of those. What? Tempting immediately. No problem with driveways? No. In this beast? No. <laughs> but what's cool, you know, all these, like, you can put it in this driveway, well, obviously, it goes to a trail yeah, mode. Yeah, full G modes. The yeah. Lock, lock all the Traction ditch up. off. And, you know, it's pretty fun. <laughs> right? It's like a tr soup, souped up tractor. Absolutely, although this is more for like the off-road stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that for cruising around. I know. Oh my. <laughs> it's cool though. But it's super comfortable, right? It's really nice. First time being in one. See? There is a first. Shmi. Absolutely. First time, I appreciate this. Love it. No, but it has the comfort mode. It's on comfort right now, but you can put it on super plus. And locks Sports everything plus. up. Suspension gets stiffer and... Yeah. And what I like is, you know, the, the seat constantly adjusts, you know, with your movement. Yes, the side bolsters. Yeah. They yeah. make sure that you're um, comfortable and under control. I like the details, like having this etched on the uh, grab handle here. Still yeah. very much a G-Wagon, because the G500, you had a G500 4x4. Yeah, the old I did. One. It didn't have the 4K rear camera, which is kind of trippy. Ah. Yeah, if you look at it, but yeah, you, you, can, you can use it as a meter or go back to camera. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's becoming more and more normal with these things, isn't it? Yeah. Lots you of know, cars like, that. A lot of cars should implement this, especially like a speed tail, even Bugatti, you know, because well, if there's a cop behind you with lights on, you can't even see. In the speed tail, you literally cannot see what's Nothing. happening behind you. No. I had no idea, full stop. <laughs> this feels far too big to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It feels like you're in Dubai. You're going in the desert. <laughs> Looking a bit busy out on the freeway. Yep. The seating position is crazy, it's so high. Away we go. So I tell you what, I'm quite excited to see your headquarters because obviously I've seen the videos. It's oh, very yeah. exciting. Thank you. Project. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you get to drive this bag. <laughs> this is like the race car G-Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> that is where we're headed, just over there. That's really cool. Because the building's had quite an illustrious history as well, hasn't it? Yeah, so it was a very famous headquarter for a Christian church, that 25 TV station, so they shot everything broadcasted from that, my building. Okay. You'll see it had a like, you know, amazing auditorium and a stage. And so I'll, you know, I'm gonna use that for my platform, for my mentorship and mm -hmm. kind of TED talk and mastermind events. Cool. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> this gets moving. I'm telling you. <laughs> You gotta drive this back. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and the brakes are great. This is it. 
the Welcome platform. to my palace. <laughs> like Borat. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow, what a greeting. Yeah, this, this is beautiful. Thank you. It's been 15 months I bought it, so it's been a pretty good money pet so far. <laughs> I can imagine a lot of work needed. Yeah, I put that fountain, that's 37,000 pounds of solid marble from Italy. Wow. And it took two different cranes to bring it in, but <laughs> in person it's huge. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I have about a million uh, gallon of fountains on 6.2 acres. Wow. And 280 parking spaces. So great for cars and coffee. Yeah, yeah. See, that's going to be my new garage. You okay. can see why this doesn't fit. Yeah, we're a bit <laughs> taller than the... Uh, so that's being built at the moment to be transformed into... Yeah, car display, studio, shooting all my content. This is the tenant lounge. It's wow. pretty cool architecture so design. those windows are through towards the garage? Yeah, well, it's all drywalled, you okay. know, so to kind of yeah, make, make it the man cave, inside. kind yeah. of like my existing building now. So in only a couple of months, all the cars are going to be in there. Yeah, but see, this sort of is my own track here. Yeah. I have two go-karts. I was about to say, should we yeah. go for a little race? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, but that's no, no, no. <laughs> I meant with the go-karts, not with the 4x4. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. See. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, really cool. I remember <laughs> seeing when you brought the cars up onto the driveway and you brought them through the uh, the gap here. Yes. You wouldn't be getting this through. I don't think this is going to fit. It's pretty no. narrow. Yeah, but you were able to get some of the cars through there. Yeah, but inside is just as impressive. They did so much detail work, gold leafing, murals. Let's go and awesome. I'll give Let's you a go have a quick look. Envisioning this place to be a amazing place to get married right look yeah. at the fountains you don't have to go to europe you just come over here to costa mesa california at the palazzo by yeah. Karshman. and i can uh, have great reception out here people get wet and then go in there for you know this feels shake really your booty. italian yeah i wow. put all the hedging so it was all dirt yeah and obviously the centerpiece fountain i put in but it's you know it's got a really cool vibe and it's kind of secluded from everything because there's only one gate to get in and out yeah and it's you know it's pretty cool spectacular a lot of detail work columns it's like a little versailles you know yeah yeah uh, it's let, hard me show to, you the, let me show you the inside it's hard to believe and think about where we are it feels more like yeah. we're somewhere in europe what oh we're locked they out. locked me out i should have paid the payments no, <laughs> Just oh no, this side's open. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. And here you go. Yeah, with the lights on, it looks much nicer. But yeah, I, they had their old name here. I put obviously my property name, Palazzo. It's got, it's three floors. And then there's a two story building in the back, that circular building. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, let me show you that there's a bridal suite here. Sorry, it's a little dirty because we're doing construction. Of course, of so. course. No, no, no. All part of the process. It's amazing to see. What a place. Let me, I want to show you the detail work in here. It's pretty cool. So I'm thinking to make this into a, a bridal suite, have a champagne bar, mm -hmm. and the bride can put her dress on here. And see? Wowzers. Right? <laughs> so you can, hang, you can hang the dress here, and then there's a fitting room there. Yeah, so I'm really bummed. The garage is not going to be as big as I wanted it to, but it'll do. Obviously, I can't put my 4x4 square in there. But so this is the I, garage? Yes, I have construction coming going in. No worries. There is no light, so I don't know if you can even capture it, but essentially it's going to have all the linear uh, LED light strips going down and it's gonna have a hardless ceiling. So it's gonna look identical to my existing garage. Yeah, okay. Except it's easier to just pull cars out and go yeah, straight out. You won't, all the cars will be down the sides, I guess. Correct, yeah. So you won't have to constantly move and shuffle things around. Exactly, yeah. It's gonna be much easier to go to lunch. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> Pick a car, choose, grab and go. Yeah, and also, you know, I shoot a lot of content like you, and it obviously makes it easier because you have, it's more open. So where's your desk going to go? All the way in that corner where that yeah. gentleman's cutting some sheet metal. 
<laughs> okay, all the way over there with yeah. the view over the whole garage. That's right. That'll be cool. What's through this door? So this is the auditorium TV studio. They used to shoot all their content. Oh. And it's pretty cool. It's got a very <laughs> high ceiling. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. cool. And it's fully acoustic, so you can tell. It could be up here. Hello, everybody. I got Shimmy in the house. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, up on the stage. See? This is cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so 200 you... seat uh, theater seating. I'm going to put a curved LED wall here, huge. Yeah. So you can kind of customize it for TED Talk, for mastermind events, whoever wants yeah. to rent it. So you and can do your talk. So this, this headquarters literally combines your office yeah. space, your garage, yep. event hosting, yes. being able to do talks in here. Yeah. It's and with people. Right? Okay. And with people. Yeah, yeah, people bring everybody yeah. together. Yeah. All the parking spaces outside that you could need. It's literally, it's brought everything that you do it's, into one place. It really is. It's like perfect. And let me show you the lounge downstairs. That's even cool. Yeah. Uh, this is where the VIP room before yeah. the guest speakers are getting ready to go yeah. on the yeah. stage. And then down here, I have a lounge where you do your reception and catering before your guests go up there for the event. See? Wow. Yeah. With the gardens. See, this is where I watch the FIFAs. Yeah, Soccer. This is, oh, this is where you're watching all the World Cup. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, the detail work, even the ceiling tiles are gold. Yeah. Like they went over the top, right? It's a little too gaudy almost, but you really can't tone it down. How am I going to tone this down? I mean, this is all Every piece of this is hand carved and gold leaf, you know, very hard. I may change the stairs to like a little bit more modern, maybe chrome yeah. to kind of break it up. But it's hard to change this. I don't know this design. They spend millions of dollars. I just feel awful tearing it out. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I know what you mean. Yeah. So I just have to become Godfather. <laughs> Back outside, Manny's going to bring over the G so we can get a few pictures of it over here. Look at that thing. <laughs> Is he about to absolutely gun it towards me? I saw that coming. <laughs> Hello! I'm Manny, you must be Shmi! It looks good! <laughs> All no. right, you're ready to drive it like you stole it? I don't know what the best way in. I've kind of yeah. head first. <laughs> oh, so there's far. a bungee cord here. You got to throw it down. You got to grab this yeah. and go and work it out. All right, get this started. Grumble. And please don't drive it in a comfort mode. No, we should go straight for sport. Well, we'll start in sport yes. and then we'll turn it up. Okay, yes, it's up here, obviously. Yeah, leave a little. <laughs> I should remember. I sold my G63, so... I'm kind of without a G-Wagon and I'm missing oh, it. Oh, so get one of these. I think I'm sure they're cool. going to announce it. If they do sell it, it would be so cool. So oh, yeah. Well, okay. will it fit in your garage? No. Well, no. it will fit in my barn. It will fit in my, because oh, okay. I've got a big industrial style Yeah, warehouse. I've seen it. Okay, <laughs> it's like that. I just had a no that the gates were going to open yeah. into us. <laughs> they're not made for a G-Wagon. You know. Cool. So does it feel weird driving the left hand? No, the... to be honest, I spend so much time driving cars, left yeah. hand drive, right hand drive. You just get used to it. It's, yeah. you know, I'm driving here with my right hand drive car. I own some left hand drive cars in the UK. Oh yeah, the side bolsters, full on. Yeah. I mean, the regular G does it, but this does it even more because of how tall you are, yep. I think. Yeah, you definitely feel it. And we go, my God, you drive just like my mother. <laughs> 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 okay, sport <laughs> bus. Let's go. All right, keys go. Are everywhere. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just enjoying the cruise, you know. I, I know, the GT but GT Black Series. If I want to drive like full on, it's the GT Black Series. This no, is I know, but I see. It. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what's the miles per gallon. Probably five miles per year. It's not going to be good if you drive like that. <laughs> that was traction control full on it stopping was. me doing anything yeah. stupid. <laughs> I kind of want to go around another aggressive corner with traction because traction oh, yeah, is go. one of these buttons. This one, there we go, traction to sport. Where are we going? We're going right, right here. Yeah. This time around. 
Uh, we go, go for it. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> it still kicks in though. It does. <laughs> right, tunnel, 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 tunnel. Yeah, go. Wait, wait, no, 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 gotta go down to first gear. Oh, I put my window back up again. I got an SF90 coming, they just emailed me that oh, yeah? I'm getting it in six months. I absolutely love my SF90. Really? It's brilliant. Okay, I know. I haven't driven it. The electronics like yeah. to play up, mm -hmm. we can say. But um, it's such a good car that I kind of forgive it. Oh, this was amazing. This no, is seriously? So cool. All right, well, you know where to find one if you want to buy one. <laughs> this is cool. So we're going to drive straight back into the garage? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm just waiting for this view in front of us right now. Wait for it. And it's going to be exactly like this in the new place. Yes. White tiles. Yeah. Straight it, strip it, lights. It'd be much nicer view because they'll be all lined up makes it much easier to do content and photo shoots. There we go. Yeah. Thanks, Manny. Appreciate hey, that. Yeah, my pleasure. Awesome. Thank you. You better come back soon. Sure will. Come and when, see the new place. When my Solos GT comes, maybe we do oh, a track yeah. day. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm that. <laughs> well, that was fun. Wasn't it? Yeah. See? The minute you change the driving mode from Mother to S+. <laughs> I You're never, a good driver. I never thought that would happen. <laughs> Thanks, Manny. <laughs> Thanks for the visit today, for checking out the cars and for getting over to your headquarters. My pleasure. Um, I look forward to catching up soon when well, it's all up and running. 100%. I can't <laughs> Good, wait. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Having been out here now quite a few times over the years to catch up with Manny, I'm going to miss this garage. It's so iconic. It's so distinct. We've taken a look at the Heritage Ford GT, the P1. I remember going out in the P1, driving with that car. All of them the cars that are just here and some of the others that have been part of the collection over the years as well, but always interesting things going on and that headquarter location is so cool. A big thanks to Manny for hosting the visit today, for sharing more of the collection and everything to do with this. Do check out his pages if you don't already, but what a special setup, what a special location, and I cannot wait to visit in a couple of months time to check out the new garage not far away now very exciting for manny but that's it for this time thank you very much for watching as always guys i appreciate your support an awful lot and i'll see you again very soon cheers <laughs>